Cost evaluation, what you're actually looking at is what they had, whether it's tilted one direction or another direction, or sometimes it's just actually pulled over here too, okay? So those are the areas you're actually looking at. The shoulder, sometimes the shoulder might be a little bit higher or a little bit lower. Usually the higher shoulder sometimes actually means it's more contracted in the tricep, I mean in the, in the traps, um, also the levator scapula region, especially if their head is more like this too. It's more contract in that region, so you're going to have to stretch that area out a lot. Also, sometimes the shoulders is more internally rotated like this, so the pec region is more contracted, and the rhomboid region, the antagonist muscle, the opposite muscle group, is actually too stretched out, so you don't have to stretch here, but do a lot of stretching and bringing it back as much as you can. Also, another one you want to look at is the abdominal region. Sometimes they might be til tilted over a little bit, and then if you see any dents at all, Sometimes um, there's more contraction in that region too, so you're going to have to do a lot of stretching in those regions. And sometimes the hips might be rotated out or in different directions, so look at that too then, whenever you're performing um, posture evaluation. Next one, you can, you can look at the hands. So the thing is that the hands are more like this. That means their shoulders are definitely more internally rotated. If their palms are facing out like this, more anatomical position, and this area is too stretched out in a way, and the rhomboid region back here is actually more contracted. So you do a lot more stretching here, and this is actually too stretched out, so you can just do some massage in this region. Then you can also look at the muscle tone, so you can see if one, one side is a little bit bigger than the other one, or so, so, so you can see if there's um, a little bit more tone, so you can even feel those areas too. So a little bit more built up in this region here, more like she, she was a right hand down in it too. Also look at the quads in this region. Look at the patellas and see if they're lined up. So let's say this one is out like this. Um, this area might be more rotated out, so lateral rotation. So the piriformis region, the gluteus maximus, the TFL region is ro rotating out. So you might see this more in runners. Or you might have it rotated inwards and with the knee like this, okay? You can also, with the feet, look at the feet, so one foot might be out a little bit more, so it's helping stabilize, so it's rotated out. Or sometimes the knee is totally straight, but the lower body, lower foot, is actually rotated out. So just be aware of that then too. And you can also test with the arches. You can just feel underneath the arches, see if you notice a difference that way, and see how they're supporting themselves with the toes. And also, again, 